All right, so I'm making this video for anybody trying to use their retro shooter RS3 Reapers uh, for Techno Parrot. Um, I took these directly out of the box, plug and play, did not change any settings or anything, and, and I'm by no means an expert at this, but it seems that people struggle with this, as did I, setting up Techno Parrot. So the first thing you're gonna do is calibrate with the software that it comes with, and this is what you're gonna get. And, excuse me, I'm gonna be moving a lot. I don't have any tripods or anything. I converted an arcade one-up cabinet and just have the guns going in the side here. Uh, use it for just golden tee and uh, rail shooters. So, when you've got the gun straight out of the box, you're gonna shoot the trigger. And as you can see, it says press one player or two player for crosshair settings. You can change your screen. So mine's a 55 inch 16 by nine. And let's press the button here. I'm gonna press the 16 by nine screen button. Sorry, I can't do it with one hand. And then calibrate them. All right, so you'll do that basically for each gun and then you'll back out of the software. All right, so after you have everything calibrated, you're gonna go into your Techno Parrot UI. And of course, you should already have your game added, everything, I guess, you know, for the disclaimer, make sure you get your games legally, make sure you got legal dumps obtained. And so at this point, you are gonna need a keyboard and you'll use the keyboard to get into your game settings and then you'll use your guns to set up everything else. And again, I'm gonna to try to do this one-handed, so excuse the video. And but let's set up, let's do Aliens Armageddon. Now in your game settings, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're on raw input, disable your cursor if you want it windowed or not, and save your settings, and then go to your controller setup. So you can see that all mine are in there using which I've got my guns swapped and I've already drilled the holes and ran it all so I'm not swapping them back. So my gun two is gun one, gun one is gun two. What I find is the hard part, and I'm gonna delete these real quick so you can see. Give me a second here. I'm just gonna do gun one. I'm gonna set up all of the buttons with the gun itself. So at this point, your gun should act as a mouse and you can see the cursor moving there. So what you're gonna do is set up, when you wanna set up your player one start, press your trigger and then press your start button. So I'm gonna use my start button as my little thumb button here and you'll see that it puts it in. Then trigger, you're gonna shoot it and then press the trigger again. And this is where people get messed up because you see it deleted. Just do it again and it's gonna eventually bind. And it might be tricky, uh, but you gotta do it several times, but you will get it. The next part is you see that what people also get caught up on is if you're trying to set up gun two, I cannot move past right there with my cursor because the UI locks up. Uh, but I'm gonna do the same thing here. I want gun two, so I select it. I'm gonna hit reload. So I press the trigger and I'm using this button here and it binds. And then I'm gonna hit shoot it. Oh, seeing it jumped up. So I'm gonna use my keyboard again and press escape because I don't want that. And I'm gonna shoot it again. And then use this as my grenade button. And then you've got all your buttons set up. So you're gonna do this with each gun on each game. When it does lock up your cursor and you're trying to get the next one, I just hit the Windows button twice. So one, two, and you'll see that it frees up that cursor now. So once you've got them all saved, your guns should work right off the bat. You've calibrated it through the software. You've got it set up here. So let me put this gun down real quick. All right. So now let me try to get back here. I'm going to save my settings. And then I'm going to launch the game. A little volume here. Now 
Uh, every game takes a little bit different to load. I will suggest that that's the easiest way I've had to set them up. I do not know anything about MAME hooker or I'm barely even trying to use um, the mule shooter, but these should work right out of the box just like this. So since this was on free play, I'm gonna press start. Actually should have picked a mission because uh, the story takes a little bit. Try to skip it here. And what you'll notice too, mine's in my garage, so the sun will mess with the sensors. So if you ever get off calibration, just shake it a little bit. It should get right back in to where you need it to be. But they should work right out, right out of the box. And then you throw grenades. Try to do it one handed again, ready? <laughs> Got your reload. All right, I'm gonna exit out of here. So. I've got mine set up. I use a couple other programs, um, Joy to Key, stuff like that, so that I can get mine working through Big Box without having to use my keyboard. I would strongly suggest that if you haven't joined the Discord, Techno Gods, it is extremely helpful. Um, there's a lot of games that have fixes and other things that you need. Um, there's some workarounds for some, you know, if the screen crashes or anything like that. Um, those guys are extremely helpful and I'll just show you the big box here and that you can use it when you use joy to key it basically allows you to uh, track buttons as keyboard strokes so once you get it all set up normally when I launch this you don't see a lot of the background it just launches directly into big box And then I can use my buttons up and down to go through each game. And it'll launch directly from here. I'm not gonna go through launching it or anything, but hopefully that helps. Just keep trying it and uh, should be good to go.